Uh, with that, we have uh, Vinay Kankaria who sent in a question. Now, he wants to know, uh, he says he wants to invest in Shobha Indraprastha in Rajaji Nagar, Bangalore. Now, he wants to know what is the ongoing price in the project. He also wants to know about the future prospects of this project. See, one, you've picked up a developer where, uh, as far as the developer goes, I don't think you have a problem. Um, if you can uh, put up the Rajaji Nagar uh, prices for me, Kavita. Yeah, uh, can we get the Rajaji Nagar prices on the screen, please? Right, uh, Jayashree, uh, yeah. while the team gets uh, the Rajaji uh, Nagar you, prices You, up, you yeah. know, in, you can get 3 to 4 BHK apartments of about 1900 to about uh, 3900 square feet within 2 to 5.5 crore. That is the range in this, uh, uh, in Rajaji Nagar. This is a under construction project and is expected to be completed by about March 2018. And it was launched at about 12,600 rupees a square foot in 2014. And currently it is about 13,640, which means that uh, there has been a slight appreciation of prices right now, uh, till now, but it's still early stages. 2018 is still far away. So the project is in early stages of development. The groundwork is done and the building work is going on. Okay, so that's the status of the project and like uh, uh, Jeshi just told you, you can expect quite a bump up in prices by the time the project actually nears position. Also considering that uh, the developer is a marquee developer. You know, uh, before we move on to the next question, uh, a lot of people when they go out to buy uh, projects, now there are two schools of thought on this, uh, when you go out to buy a home. Uh, one is that you go with a local developer who knows the market, who's been there for a long time and who's probably a big name in that particular market. But you also have uh, bigger, established, more established players uh, like say the Shobha, the Hiranandani, the Brigade, etc, etc, who are looking at multiple markets. They are not restricting themselves to one particular state or one particular city. Now, uh, does it make sense to, you know, what would you choose uh, actually opt for uh, Jashree in a market? Would you go with a developer, a local developer who is very strong or uh, a bigger, more established player who's just entered the market? I would go with the de developer who has built in that market and knows that market very well. Uh, I have seen uh, so many national developers uh, who have moved from their area of comfort and moved to other cities and uh, very few, I can count on the fingers of one hand, how many of them have succeeded in a new market altogether. Property is such a local uh, subject and the rules and regulations are so local that unless they have a strong local partner there, I haven't seen too many uh, developers succeeding in a new market. You know, then, then what happens? Uh, say you have a very strong uh, local partner, uh, which a lot of developers are actually doing these days. They're signing, getting into uh, JVs or JDAs. Mm -hmm. So they, you know, they're not even buying the land. They're, yeah. they're just helping out with the development and the marketing. In that case, then would you go with the market developer over the local guy? Uh, if the local guy has a strong uh, base, I would still go for the local guy. Uh, if the uh, new guy is coming in and coming with, uh, you know, it's the marquee contractors that make a difference. Mm. If you're going with a Shapurji Palanji or a LNT and so on, you will be able to deliver uh, quality because the the quality of construction cannot change even if you're going to a new city. The second thing is that uh, check out the layouts and so on. Sometimes developers who go with local partners come with fen phenomenally well laid out projects. That's where the uh, the expertise in another market uh, gets translated into the new market. But they, these are fewer cases. In most cases, I have seen that new uh, developers who are new to a market have not really uh, invested in maybe the uh, contractor or the uh, layout uh, plans and so on. So normally, it is uh, uh, it, there have been delays in those projects. So if you are looking to go with a market developer mm -hmm. in a particular market who's just entered the market, then... A uh, few more things to add to your checklist over there. You need to look at the contractors that uh, the company is getting in, the layouts that are being planned. Because if all of this doesn't give you an edge over the local player, you're better off probably investing in the project or buying the home that the local uh, developer is making. You can watch live TV on our website, mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash magic bricks now. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at Magic Bricks Now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash Magic Bricks Now.